All right, welcome back, everyone. It's No High here, and in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide. And this will be showing you guys how to get the Light Speed, which is a brand new Legendary Grenade mod exclusive to the new Guardian Takedown. Uh, the red text of this grenade mod is Give me a Parsec. Longbow grenades teleport to their destination. Damage is 13,457. Radius is 99. Longbow, Light Speed. Now this one I have here does not do any elemental damage and the place that I use to look up all of the legendary weapons and stuff and kind of see what elements they can do, it has only has radiation. So be expecting that this grenade mod can do more than just this or radiation. It probably can come in multiple different elements. Now in order to get this weapon, I got mine to drop in the new Guardian Takedown from the second boss his name is and I, i'm trying to, i'm gonna see if i say this right anathema the relentless now that on the website that i use to look up all this if you guys don't know there's like a um a a google docs like a uh, chart of like all the legendaries in the game and it gets updated almost every single day when there's new stuff that's kind of like what i use to look at all my uh, all the stuff to see like what elements everything can come in and all that and right now that's the only drop location that it has for it but if i had to guess just be on the lookout for this thing to also drop from the uh from the last boss as well now what this thing does you can see here like i said it's a longbow grenade it teleports to its destination whenever it hits its destination it's going to explode and release anywhere from six to four like mini grenades out and they like fly up into the air or fly in fly until they hit something uh as you can see here i say six to four because sometimes i throw it and it'll spawn like six sometimes i throw it and it spawns five sometimes i'll throw it it spawns four i haven't got less than four yet but i want to say that it's supposed to spawn six but sometimes whenever it explodes maybe it automatically explodes one or two of them I feel like that's what's happening. But here's some good gameplay of the grenade mod right here. And it's actually not that bad of a grenade mod. It, it does better damage than some of the other grenade mods, in my opinion, for sure. And, you know, it's a very fast grenade. It's going to get to its destination really quickly. It's called Light Speed for a reason, and it is a longbow grenade. It's going to get there really quickly, and it explodes really quickly as well. So yeah, like I said, it's one of the better damaging ones, just pure damage grenade mods that I've seen so far uh, in, in the game. It's definitely not that bad of a grenade mod. I definitely want to see if I can get a better anointed one and stuff like that. So yeah, like I said, be on the lookout for different elements of this because we don't know all of the elements on it so far right now. From what I can tell, we know it comes in non-elemental because I have one right here and radiation. And it also drops, uh, I'm gonna, I'm guessing that it drops from both bosses in the raid, in the Guardian Takedown. But right now, the only one we know for sure is the first boss. If you guys don't know, like, it seems like the final boss in the DLC, his, like, drop rates are kind of bugged. And then they're not really, he's not really dropping stuff, like, at a good rate, like the new weapons and stuff. So be on the lookout for that. Like, don't don't be expecting him for him to drop it. You probably you'll probably end up getting it from the first boss you encounter. Now, hopefully they do fix this pretty soon and get the drop rates back to normal. I still think there's a couple things there's a couple things they need to fix in the new Guardian takedown, which I'm going to talk about in the video that'll probably be out uh, later today or tomorrow. Uh, the but just like quickly going over, you know, they need to fix that. I think there needs to be less enemies spawning in solo, and they need to kind of scale it down a little bit because it feel it honestly feels like whenever you're doing the raid with single play with a single uh, player, it feels like you're doing it with four people. How hard the enemies are to kill and how many of them are. The other thing I would change as well is the crystal phases. I'm I'm not too annoyed with the crystals. It's just they're annoying because they take so long to fill up. I feel like on solo. Since you're having to like micromanage all of them at one time since you're solo and not multiplayer, not four players, they should fill up quicker. They should be a lot quicker. But yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.